Here's a good news story doing good in our community because Roanoke College students are teaming up with Habitat for Humanity to build one mom a home. And today was the big move day to news reporter Amy Cochran followed along as the house was taken to its new location. Uh, moving something this big uh, does pose its challenges, particularly getting out of the initial neighborhood. And then once we got off the interstate in downtown Roanoke, coming up Bullitt Avenue, uh, it's difficult. The house made its way just down the road from Roanoke College to its permanent site on Bullitt Avenue. It'll soon be a place for Roanoke mother Nadija Hunt to call home. It actually feels good. It feels good because not everybody is fortunate. And I just like the fact that it's an ongoing cycle. You help me, I help you. I'm standing in what's going to be the lower level of the home. When it's complete, it's going to be over 1,400 square feet. Now, this is going to be the living room, and down there, that's going to be the kitchen or the back of the house. Now, all of this is going to be done in just a few months, just in time for the holidays. I'm excited and I'm nervous and it just still feel not real. In the coming days, a major transformation will take place. And then it's on to the next build. We just dedicated our 287th home here in the Roanoke Valley, Habitat for Humanity in the Roanoke Valley Head. So you have to understand that this is just one of hundreds of stories Habitat Roanoke has been able to contribute to this valley. In Roanoke, Amy Cochran, 10 News, working for you.